And bago namin syempre ililisanin ang Indian Temple or Indian dito sa Batu Kings. Ayan. So, katry namin yung one of their tradition. Yung pag na nyo. Hena Tatu. Ayan. Try natin guys. Before 2019, ayan, ano talaga nila yun? I traditional uh, accessories for wedding. Yan, yeah, before their wedding. Yeah, for Malay traditional. Yeah. Mga ano. Actually, it's Indian, Indian right? And uh, Malay adapted it. Yeah. Malaysian culture, inadapt nila yung paglalagay ng henna sa kamay. And we will try it now. Ayan, papakita namin sa inyo. So, di ba? Merong doon niya kami. Doon niya namin kasama. Yung box. Yung box. Yung box. Ayun guys, we're on the way. Paano, pa-uwi na kami. On our way to him. And bago namin syempre ililisanin ang Indian Temple or Indian dito sa Batu Kings. Ayan. So, katry namin yung one of their tradition. Yung pag-ilan. Hena Tatu. Inside the Batu Cave, guys, they offer 40 ringgit. Luckily, we found this stall near the train. Ayan, 10 RM lang dito. Oh, si Madam na nagpatuto. Ay, hindi kaya, ate. Itag na lang pa rin po. O, hindi. Ikipat, sadya ko kasi yan. No, sadya. Dapat ha. Sini sadya. Ah, sini sadya. Oh, my God. Ay, ayun. 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 
Tambah 15. Oh. Ah, semua 15 ya. Ini dan dukun. The earliest known application of henna for the purposes of body art dates back to the Bronze Age where it was used by young women in the Eastern Mediterranean during festivals and celebrations. Even today, henna tattoos are an important part of wedding celebration in Asia and the Middle East, though they are most commonly associated especially with India where they known as Mendi. In India, Mendi designs are painted onto the hands and feet of both the bride and the groom prior to the wedding. It is believed that this will bring the couple a long and happy marriage. Nowadays, henna tattoos are also something of a tourist attraction for those visiting countries where henna tattooing is a common practice such as India or Morocco. Every culture and religion of the world uses henna tattoos in its own unique way. For Hindu weddings, henna is painted on the bride to symbolize joy, beauty, spiritual awakening, and offering, while Moroccans often paint doors with henna to bring prosperity and chase away evil. For instance, having a henna design on your hands or palms signifies an offering from you to the world. A henna design on the back of your hand symbolizes protection, so you might want to choose a design that has strong qualities associated with it. So, we bili kami ayan. Oh, no. So this one guys is their uh, Indian traditional henna tattoo uh, ano nila yan, uh, accessories or uh, parang inaano nila yan, ginagawa nila yan lang twist sa uh, ano nila yung pag ikakasal sila ganyan tapos if uh, pagdaan ng panahon parang it became a uh, ano nila, uh, fashion, fashion na nila yan pag kahit anong occasion na lang kung halimbawa uh, yan, before new year or before ng ano nila o um, raya raya kasi dito is parang siesta or new year nga ganun so nagaganito rin sila or so ginawa na rin nila ng fashion so, pwede yung ipatry o diba yun yung mga ito simple lang but pinakasimple ayun pinakasimple so yung pinakamaganda nila lahat ng fingers lahat ng fingers lahat ng fingers na lalagyan tapos lahat ng mga nails may kulay yan o sinisimbol may simbol sa kanila to pero dahil ngayon is ginagawang function na siya ayan so pinakasimple na lang yung idea actually ito yung pinakamura yung pinakasimple pinakamura o diba ayun yung pinakamura guys ayan 10RM siya 10RM pero makakahanap kayo ng ano lang ng 5 5RM sa sa ibang lugar yan pero hindi ko pa ang ganda so guys i think dito na mag-end ang vlog natin and so 
Nagsisika tayo ulit. Ayan, actually, nasa train na kami. Ayan, ayan yung train. So, guys, ito yung ano nila. PNR or PNR. PNR ba yun? Yung tawag sa Pilipinas. Yung pinaka lumang ano ng train. Train. Oh, actually, ang nagbago na yung train na ito. Pero medyo bago na yung mga bago nila. Tawag nila dito. KTM. KTM. So, guys, ayan. See you again later. Bye! Thank you for watching and don't forget to subscribe.